Mother is directed by Darren Aronofsky and stars Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem, Ed Harris, Michelle Pfeiffer, and someone else who I won't mention, but I was like, what? When they appeared? That was just so random. You'll see when you see the film. This film is about... Huh. Jennifer Lawrence's character is named Mother, and Javier Bardem's character is named Him. He's trying to write a poem. He's a very famous poet, but he has serious writer's block. She's trying to restore their idyllic country home, a paradise they've created together to seclude themselves from everyone else. Suddenly a visitor shows up, Ed Harris. Then later his wife shows up, Michelle Pfeiffer. And before she knows it, her entire house is filled with random strangers and there's a hole in the floor that's bleeding. And the house has a heart. This movie is insane. Aronofsky has crafted a film that will keep people talking for years. And after the movie, I just kind of sat there and watched all of the credits. And it felt like the movie hadn't ended yet. Like I was still watching it. Now this might sound negative, but I am very much so the opposite of that. I am very intrigued by this movie. It's a puzzle that I want to put together, but I also infuriatingly know that I never will because there's a billion different ways to interpret this movie. There are so many different meanings. There's tons of metaphors and visual imagery that's meant to inspire conjecture and it's going to amongst film fans for years. There's biblical references to Cain and Abel, I think. There's stuff about the earth and God and uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. And I admire it. My screening invite for this film came with 12 pages of press notes. That's unprecedented. That's never happened to me before. I didn't read any of it until I saw the film, though. And I went back and I read it. And it was clearly like they were trying to, like, lessen the blow of what I was about to watch by kind of easing me into the strangeness of this film. But still, I'm glad I didn't read it because I was basically transfixed for the entire movie by incredible performances from Lawrence and Bardem in particular. Very much so Jennifer Lawrence. She is on the screen for so much of the movie and so much of it is close-ups or over the shoulder. And that is sometimes a little bit annoying because I am asking for a wide. I'm, I find myself begging for a wide shot to, to let me breathe for a second or experience something else besides the back of her hair or the front of her face. But you don't get that too often. The camera will follow her for very long periods of time as she sees frightening or strange disturbing things. The last half of this movie is absolute insanity. So many things happen that I won't spoil for you that just had me gripping my knees like eviscerated by what I was looking at. That's like mentally, I just felt like it was tearing me to pieces. This movie is designed to unsettle audiences and it will. It will also anger many and it already has. There's tons of people who have done reviews who are upset with this film, who find it very offensive and uh, feel that there's, there's just a bunch of pretentious imagery and that's it. And I can completely understand that. That's something that I've certainly felt before when I see some of these more artsy films. But this one in particular, it like invited me to, to want to figure it out. It, it made me want to learn more about what he was trying to say. There's environmental issues that he's exploring, the way we treat the planet, uh, the way we treat each other, the way fame can have an impact on you and the ones you care about if you let it. There are so many different ways to interpret this movie that I hesitate to say there is one specific way to pinpoint what Aronofsky is going for, which I really respect. I, I don't always need to go to a film and experience 90 to 100 minutes of a movie where I feel like that was easily digestible and within a couple hours, I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm gonna be thinking about this movie for a very long time. I want to research it. It's very intriguing. The performances, as I said, are staggering. The cinematography is extremely well done. The color and look of this house, the way the wood creaks, the way Jennifer Lawrence is so innocent throughout this entire film and vulnerable. Her performance is so ragged and intense that it might garner her another Oscar nomination unless the Academy are like really prudent about the fact that this movie's kind of fucked up, which could happen. I do have an interpretation for what I think he was going for, at least in regards to the two main characters. And I'm starting to lean that way. I won't talk about it now. I'll wait till after my grade. 
because even though I don't really consider it a spoiler, I know a lot of my viewers don't want to know anything going in. They just want a very basic idea of how I feel because spoilers suck. So after I give my grade, I'll talk a little bit about my interpretation. As for flaws, the pacing can really suffer sometimes because we go from extremely unsettled and socially awkward experiences back to normal everyday life. And then the house is making sounds and people are doing strange things. They're grabbing paint buckets, painting her house for her doing all these really awkward things that you just don't understand. And it can be a little maddening, actually. And that's kind of what he's trying to do. But because it's so hard on first viewing to, to really laser focus on what Aronofsky is trying to say, some scenes can drag because you're like, what is happening right now? On second viewing, I feel like that will improve. Also, I don't want to like get into conspiracy theory stuff, but Aronofsky in the past has been accused of pseudo plagiarism with the anime Perfect Blue and his film Black Swan, which I think is excellent. I do think Perfect Blue is better though. And with this film, there are some tastes of Rosemary's Baby. And I feel like some people will probably pick up on that and go forth with more plagiarism rumors, but this is definitely its own thing, and I don't consider him plagiarizing Rosemary's Baby at all, but there is definitely aspects of it that are similar. Because of the fact that this is Aronofsky's brain on fire, like supposedly he wrote this screenplay in days, and then filmed an entire movie at another set without CG or anything like that to try to figure out what he was trying to say, then he filmed the actual movie, because this is so many things crammed into one movie. Sometimes it can feel very messy, but I do think that it's worth seeing, and I do think it's a special and unique film that is going to cause people to talk, which is very good in today's day and age of big blockbuster movies. I'm going to give Mother an A-. minus. This movie is weird, okay, and many people are not going to like it. It's incredibly divisive. I have friends who hated it. I mean, hated it. And I'm sure many others will, and others will say it's a masterpiece. But there's one thing that this film for sure is doing, causing people to talk about it, which is rare today. So interpretation. Uh, if you don't want to know what I think Jennifer Lawrence's character represents and what I think Javier Bardem's character represents, uh, come back after you see it. I feel like he's trying to say that Bardem is God and that uh, Lawrence is Mother Earth. She is in constant awe of uh, Javier Bardem, and he is constantly ignoring her. He wants to forgive his fans for really horrible acts and really terrible things that they're doing, and she doesn't understand why. And I feel like this is almost Aronofsky getting out a lot of sort of theological rage that he might have stored up. There's a lot of different things in this movie that could hint at that. There's Cain and Abel stuff, too, with two brothers in the movie. And if you have, like, a knowledge of Aronofsky's past, I mean, obviously he made Noah, so he definitely has a lot of thoughts uh, on religion and the Bible. And it feels like, in some ways, this movie is exploding with those ideas. Now, this could just be my wrong interpretation, but I feel like that is, in general, if you could just pinpoint one thing, that that's probably what he was going for. But um, we'll see. Check it out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the film, and I hope that it affects you in some way, shape, or form, because it certainly did me. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.